Side is hard at work. Using her own camera, she films and reports protests and everyday happenings in the West Bank and then posts the videos on social media platforms such as Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube and Facebook on which she has more than 270,000 followers. She's here in South Africa and in studio with us. Thanks so much for your time on SABC News. Talk to us about why you're here. Um, I'm here uh, with our new organization named Chimsan that we're trying to make platforms for uh, Palestinian children to send um, their message for other people around the world and I came here for a speaking tour to speak more about our issue as children living under occupation. Um, I came here also to learn about the history of South Africa that is a really great history that can help us as Palestinians in the future. What would you say the issues that you are trying to highlight during this trip are? Um, our lives living under occupation um, is mostly, each one of them is a, is a really big issue. Like for example, seeing people that you love getting killed in front of you, children, prisoners, um, people who are just getting killed, children who are getting killed in a, it for no reason for being Palestinians uh, like for example um, when you're 12 in the Israeli law that means you're not a child anymore they can interrogate you arrest you treat you like an adult that um, that or maybe they can treat you as a criminal so uh, each point of our lives living under occupation is a whole big issue uh, because of us living under occupation and you use your social media to share um, stories that you would like people to see. Yeah. Is that why you decided that you want to become a journalist? Um, I started or I became a journalist when I was seven years old when I saw that there is not enough journalists to cover things that happens in uh, Palestine or in Nabi Saleh in general in my village. Uh, like when my friend Mustafa had been killed, my uncle Rishti had been killed, a lot of things um, started to happen and the world didn't know about our feelings as children living under occupation. So I wanted to cover the things that happens with us as Palestinians living under occupation uh, to try to send that message that really has to be sent to um, let the world know that we just want to live in peace, want to live in justice, want to live in equality. Uh, because it's enough of war, it's enough of killing, it's enough of seeing people that we love, seeing their blood on the street. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Living in an environment <coughs> like you've described and deciding to take this on for yourself, what, what do you do to try and escape this or to try and to deal with the reality that you're facing? I didn't understand that. What do you do um, to try and escape uh, what sounds like an onslaught and living in a, in a place with lots of difficulty. You've mentioned that your family is dying and, and, and you almost feel trapped. So what do you do to deal with the circumstances around you? Um, like first thing, occupation is, is occupation, so they can do anything. Mm. Dealing with occupation is, um, is really super hard because from raids to attacks to clashes that happens every day from checkpoints that when even when I'm trying to go to my school that is only 25 minutes far from my house because of those checkpoints I have to to go on a way that is three hours to go to my school so um, dealing with that occupation is hard but we as Palestinians living under occupation we have to control our fears and don't let our fears control us because if our fears controlled us, we're not going to live, we're, we're not going to know what does life mean. And um, smiling is the um, best kind of resistance, the strongest resistance we can make. So uh, it became normal to hear a gas canister just bumping near your window when you're studying, when you're drawing, when you're playing, when you're doing whatever just because before about a month, I uh, I woke up seeing my uh, 19 years old uh, cousin and friend getting killed uh, near my um, near my room's window, and it was terrible. Mm -hmm. So it's really hard to deal with that occupation. Thanks so much for your time on SABC News, Jana Jihad, joining us there in studio.